All right, in Money Watch, the Biden administration's enhanced child tax credit program is being rolled out this week. Starting Thursday, the IRS will begin sending out monthly cash payments. Checks will go to eligible families with children who are 17 or younger. It's part of a government effort to use the tax code to help low and moderate income families tackle the ongoing challenges of the pandemic. So joining me now is CBS Money Watch reporter Amy Peaky to break it all down because people want to know. When am I getting my money? Am I eligible for this money? Because not everyone's eligible. Uh, so this money goes out on Thursday. When will people actually see the money in their bank accounts? And how much will it be? Yeah, I think this is really important to understand that the tax money was dispersed by the IRS on the 15th. But like the stimulus checks, it could take a few days for that to land in your account. So the tax experts say, don't get freaked out if it's not in your account on the 15th. It will be there in probably two to three days. Um, there are also people who will get checks in the mail, and those will take, you know, between a week to two weeks, perhaps, to reach your house. Um, those are people who haven't provided their bank account information to the IRS, so the IRS is going to send a paper check. And obviously, that's the mail, and it's going to take a little bit longer to get to your home. Um, so people will get, um, parents of children who are under six will get $300 per child. And parents with children between 6 to 17 will get $250 a month. And this is going to last from July through December. And at this point, um, after December, it, it'll end at that point. So that's important to know as well. Six mm. months of monthly payments from the IRS. So this is connected to the pandemic, which means, it, and you just sort of pointed this out, but I just want to clarify, this is not like the new norm. This isn't going to extend beyond 2021. Well, the Biden administration wants to extend it beyond 2021. So this is kind of something to watch. Mm. Um, they would like to extend it for five years. Um, you know, they're, I think they're kind of viewing it, and a lot of child uh, poverty advocates are viewing this as an experiment. What's going to happen over these next six months? Is this really going to help low and moderate income families pay for child care? Is it going to help parents who had to leave the workforce in the past year get back into the workforce? Because suddenly they're going to have money coming in every month that could help help pay for child care, for instance, and the other costs of raising children. So it's something to watch. It's something to keep tabs on. Um, you know, people who uh, are very, are very uh, interested in making sure children aren't in poverty believe it should be extended. So, you know, there are advocates who are pushing for this to be extended for uh, several more years. So some people are choosing to opt out. Why would anyone turn down this money? That's a really good question. Um, some people might want to opt out for a couple of different reasons. Um, one is you could just get a bigger tax refund in the spring when you file your taxes. Some people like that. Um, and that's maybe a personal decision. Mm -hmm. You'd rather get you know, a big lump sum in the spring as in your tax refund. But some people might not be eligible. Um, the IRS is going on your 2020 tax returns. And, but it's based on your 2021 income. Um, so if it turns out you have more income this year, you might be um, not actually eligible for it and have to pay that money back. And that's the key. If you aren't actually eligible and you get the money, you're gonna have to pay back the IRS. So if you figure, okay, I really shouldn't be getting this money, but the check arrived, you might wanna go to the IRS website. It's called the Child Tax Credit Update Portal, and you can opt out there. So that's something to think about. That is good advice because the IRS uh, is relentless and they do not give out free gifts and prizes. Um, do parents need to pay taxes on these payments? Uh, no, this is a tax credit. So even though you're getting this cash in your bank account, it's not actually considered income by the IRS. So it's sort of like the stimulus checks where you didn't have to pay income, on, uh, income tax on that either. However, you do need to keep track of how much you're getting because you're only getting half of the tax credit in those cash payments and you're going to take the other half when you file your 1040 in the spring of 2022. So you need to make sure you're reporting what you actually received in cash correctly to the IRS. If you don't, your tax return could get held up for a review. And that's something we're seeing this year with the stimulus checks. Some people reported that number incorrectly on their tax form. And then those tax returns are being held and being flagged. And that's why we're seeing a lot of tax refund delays this year. So it's important to keep track of what you're 
getting from the IRS, uh, note it down somewhere and report it correctly on your 1040 in 2022. Yep, it is on you. Uh, Amy, thank you so much. Thanks, Anne-Marie. So you can read Amy's article explaining further the expanded tax child, child tax credit rather currently up on cbsnews.com.